Have you ever wondered what is that barking sound inside an airplane? That's the hydraulic system. In this explanatory video, we are going to have a detailed outlook on how do hydraulics work on an Airbus 320 plane. Hydraulics work through fluid pressure. In this example, the flaps have been lowered to prepare for takeoff. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. Flaps are secondary flight controls that lower down during takeoff and landing. The first officer is closer to this panel than the captain. He just simply shifts the lever backward to make the flaps lowered. That's the full configuration for the flaps at its lowermost position. It will take more time to retract those flaps from full extension than just shifting from one state to another. I mean from one level to another. The landing gear also uses hydraulics. These are three set of wheels that lower during landing and retract during takeoff. The pilot adjusts the setting by shifting the lever down to extend the wheels and then shift it up to retract it. Right now, we are demonstrating to you how the pilot goes down the wheels. How will he extend the wheels of an airplane? This time, we are showing to you how does the pilot retract the wheels of an airplane. As you have noticed, there is an indicator of unlocked in red font. That means the landing gears are moving. When you see a green downward arrow, specifically an inverted triangle, that means the landing gear is down. The wheels are extended and are prepared for landing. When you're approaching towards a runway, spoilers or speed brakes are wing elements that raise up during touchdown. The pilot moves these elements by shifting the speed brake lever backward to extend it. This control panel is closer to the captain than the first officer. 
because it is located on the left side. In this configuration, the speed brakes have been fully deployed. Notice that as the pilot moves the speed brake levers furthermore backward, more wings are being raised up. It takes some time to retract them as you're moving it from one extreme position to another. Not only are the landing gears extended and retracted hydraulically, but also its brakes. Just like in a car, just like in an automobile, the wheels are applied with hydraulic pressure to pressure these rear wheels to stop. through fluid pressure as you can see here the rudder pedals are being pushed down individually to stop each pair of wheel on whichever side are you trying to slow down the main landing gear in this configuration both pedals are being pushed down to slow down both rear wheels that are indicated in yellow this means that braking pressure is applied to the airplane on the ground now that the rudder pedal has been returned to its original position there is no more braking pressure applied to the wheels. Notice that only the rear wheels have brakes. The front wheels don't have any of them because it is half the size of the rear wheels. Another example of hydraulic system in the airplane is the thrust reverser. It is one of the three stopping forces that are used during touchdown along with the wheel brakes and spoilers. The pilot activates them by pushing the throttle lever I mean pulling it backwards for each of them one lever is correspondent to a jet engine in this example both thrust reversers are being activated and you have noticed that the lever is being pulled backward to its reverse position. The principle of thrust reversing is that you redirect the air from ingesting towards, behind, towards the back, I mean behind you, into a forward position. Therefore, you're turning the thrust into a drag or backward force by counteracting the air in front during landing after the airplane has significantly slowed down the thrust reversers will return to their retracted positions if the rear wheels have braking pressure applied to them the front wheels 
are only responsible for steering the airplane on the ground. This is called the nose wheel steering system. The pilot does this by using a tiller, which is a small steering wheel right beside the side stick. He will turn it counterclockwise to turn the airplane to the left and clockwise to turn it right. This is the default position of the tiller or nose wheel steering system. The front wheels are pointed straight. Thank you for appreciating this video. I hope you enjoyed watching my explanatory video about hydraulics in the Airbus 320 plane.